When my grandfather passed away, uh, everybody on that side of my family came up to Michigan for his funeral. And you basically had four days of about 50 people camping in the vacant lot next to my house. And uh, that allowed the entire family to be together around the clock for, um, for about four days. And the thing that I remember the most vividly uh, is every night when I would go to bed, I would have my, my sides, my ribs throbbing with pain because I had been laughing so hard all day. It was just a constant state of someone telling a story and the entire room would just be howling with laughter. And uh, most of the time it got to the point where you didn't even hear the story. You just, you just laughed so hard. Um, and it was such a, a great release, um, especially because in my family it's very difficult to to cry and to let out those negative emotions. Um, it's just it's just how we are. Uh, so having that cathartic release of just being able to laugh as hard as you possibly can was essential. And that's what I try to emulate with the Grin support groups. Um, in Grin, we don't really talk about the traumatic events. We don't talk about trying to fix your issues right now. Um, we just try to have a couple hours a week where you can get a slice of pizza or a cup of coffee and you can just sit in a group and you can just relax and be comfortable and be at ease and at peace. And uh, I feel like where a lot of support groups just try to find a solution and get someone out as quickly as possible. Um, at the Grin support groups, you're welcome as long as you want to stay. And uh, we're just here to help you out and have a couple hours a week where you can just relax and, and, just, and just laugh.